Keeping alert involves a number of hobbies. Uh, one way to start the day is doing the age cryptic crossword. In this one, I had to wait until the next day to find out what the last two letters were. I could agree with span as meaning overpass, but couldn't uh, relate it to a lot of mules. A dictionary check showed me as uh, one meaning a span as a team of horses. Next thing is the Sudoku. Trying to get it complete without putting little figures in the possible uh, numbers in each square. The challenge of completing the assembly of an IKEA storage unit was one where I called in assistance from my son-in-law. I've recently moved and selecting and hanging pictures in my bachelor pad is mainly, they're mainly travel souvenirs, has required quite a lot of concentration. <laughs> the, the orchids have been rather neglected this year. Another hobby that keeps me on my toes is family history. I seem to be the person in my generation that's collected all kinds of materials about family and now I have over 2,000 names in my computer program. I can include written information and pictures and easily locate them when needed. Photos where names are known are particularly useful. With the material from many sources, I've been able to go back to such people as John Fry, who lived from 1701 to 1775, and was even able to visit the house he built in Sutton, Benger, Wiltshire, England. It's now the Vintage Inn. I was able to get back 13 generations, uh, back to John Fry, who was spelt with an E. Following another line through Elizabeth Fry, the prison reformer, I was able to get back 15 generations, back to James IV of Scotland. But of course, I keep track of descendants, and two of them were married this year. The first one, Grant, was married in Kangaroo Valley near Nowra, and I got the chance to dance with one of the bridesmaids. Naomi was married much nearer home, in the Yarra Valley, and I was happy to join the festivities there too. Daughter Lynn kindly invited me to join their group on a short trip to Uluru. And uh, courtesy of the hop on, hop off coach, we had the opportunity to explore the waterhole area near the base of the rock. Later, we donned leather jackets and helmets to circle the rock in the morning light and see the, the different view from that point. Snooker is another continuing hobby. Fortunately, I've been able to set up my billiard table in the garage here. The aim of the game is to make the white ball, that's the cue ball, hit a red ball into a pocket, and that gets you one point. And then, then you can try to put a coloured ball into a pocket, but it doesn't always work. You can see, the game starts with 15 red balls on the table and the pocket, uh, once pocketed they stay off but any coloured balls potted are replaced until all the red balls are gone. Then the colours have to be pocketed in order of their value. Yellow 2, green 3, brown 4, blue 5, pink 6 and black 7. Nice. If it doesn't appear easy to pocket a ball you can then try to put the cue ball in a position where the opponent doesn't have a straight line to the ball that they want to hit, and that is their snooker. That means they have to go by an indirect route, and if they don't hit the ball required, it's a foul stroke. into a pocket, that's Even though he pots the red, uh, when the cue ball goes into the pocket, that's a foul stroke. Uh, not that the opponents are very sympathetic, but then it is most satisfying when things go as planned. Mm -hmm. 
And yes, we do have background music playing. Well done.